Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, base uh, C, D is uh, 12 units, whereas uh, its uh, side A, B equal to this side uh, A, D. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, A, B, C is uh, 120 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know these uh, two sides uh, AB and AD are congruent. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular uh, BE on this space uh, CD, such that we are ended up with this uh, square uh, ABED. And moreover, uh, all these sides uh, AB, AD, this side uh, BE, and this uh, side uh, DE are equal in length. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. And we know this whole angle is 120 degrees. So therefore, uh, this remaining angle uh, EBC is going to be a 30 degree angle. So therefore, in this uh, right triangle uh, BEC, this angle turns out to be 60 degrees. Since some of all these three angles uh, equals to 180 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BEC. And now we can see that this is our 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle. And now I am going to go over the basic uh, review. And let's focus on this uh, 30, 60, 90 special triangle BEC. We can see this 30 degrees is our smallest uh, angle, whereas uh, 90 degrees is our largest angle. So therefore, the side opposite to this uh, smallest angle is going to be our uh, smallest uh, leg, whereas uh, the leg opposite to our largest angle is going to be our uh, longest leg, and we call this one as our hypotenuse. So therefore, in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest leg. In other words, uh, if the smallest leg is one, then our longest leg is going to be 2 and this third leg has got to be square root of 3. And in general, if I call this uh, smallest leg as uh, x, then our longest leg has got to be 2 times uh, x and this uh, third leg is going to be x uh, times uh, square root of 3. And now let's focus on our this uh, right triangle BEC. Our this smallest uh, leg EC, I'm going to label this one as uh, X. Then longest leg is going to be 2 times X. And this third leg has got to be X times uh, square root of 3. And now we can see our uh, this uh, BE length uh, is X times uh, square root 3. So therefore this side is going to be X times square root of 3. X times uh, square root of 3. And likewise, uh, this uh, DE length is going to be X uh, times uh, square root of 3 as well. And here's our next step. Now let's focus uh, on this uh, whole base uh, CD. That is going to be the sum of uh, X times square root of 3 and uh, X. And uh, this uh, CD length is uh, 12 units as well. So therefore, we can write down uh, X uh, times uh, square root of 3 plus x uh, is going to be equal to 12 uh, units. And now I'm going to factor x uh, outside. So we are going to get square root of uh, 3 plus 1 equals to 12. And now I'm going to divide both sides by square root of 3 plus 1 to isolate x. This is uh, gone. So therefore, x turns out to be equal to 12 divided by square root of 3 plus 1. And now we are going to rationalize uh, the denominator by multiplying uh, its uh, conjugate. 
and dividing as well and we know the conjugate is going to be square root of 3 minus 1 let's go ahead and multiply and divide by its conjugate square root of 3 minus 1 divided by square root of 3 minus 1 as well and now we are going to multiply 12 with the whole quantity and likewise we are going to multiply these uh, denominators as well and now let's focus uh, on these uh, denominators we got square root of 3 plus 1 the other one is uh, square root of 3 minus 1 and now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity a plus b times a minus b is always equal to a square minus b square in other words uh, the product of the sum and the difference equal to the difference of their squares so therefore uh, we are going to apply this identity on the denominator so that is going to give us uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square minus uh, 1 square and that is going to be equal to 3 minus 1 equals to 2 so therefore uh, this whole uh, de denominator part uh, turns out to be equal to 2 so therefore we can write uh, x equals to 12 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 1 all over 2 and here we can see 12 uh, and 2 reduced to 6 so therefore we can write x uh, equal to 6 uh, times square root of uh, 3 minus uh, 1 now I'm going to distribute so x uh, value turns out to be equal to 6 times the uh, square root of 3 minus 6 units and now since we figured out our x value as uh, 6 times square root of 3 minus 6 so therefore we are going to find the value of this uh, base uh, ab which is x times uh, square root of 3 and likewise this height is uh, x times square root of 3 as well so therefore I can write uh, x times uh, square root of 3 is going to be equal to I'm going to write down square root of 3 first and then our uh, x value is uh, this one I'm going to fill in the blanks so this is going to be 6 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 6 let's distribute this one when we multiply this uh, that is going to give us uh, 18 and then minus uh, this is going to give us 6 times uh, square root of 3 so therefore our x times square root of 3 value turns out to be 18 minus uh, 6 times uh, square root of 3 so therefore we can see that our this uh, base uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 18 minus 6 times uh, square root of 3 and likewise the height uh, AD is 18 minus uh, 6 times the uh, square root of 3 as well and now we are going to focus on this uh, trapezoid ABCD and we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area is always equal to height H uh, times the sum of the bases uh, A plus B all over 2 and in our case uh, the height uh, h is 18 minus 6 times square root of 3 the base uh, a is uh, 18 minus 6 times square root of 3 as well whereas the base uh, b is uh, 12 units let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of this uh, trapezoid is going to be equal to our height uh, h is uh, 18 minus 6 times the square root of 3 all over 2 and then times uh, I'm going to write down our lowercase a value is uh, 18 minus uh, 6 uh, times the uh, square root of 3 plus uh, our b value is uh, 12 so I'm going to write down uh, 12 uh, over here and now we can see this first part this fraction reduces to 9 minus 3 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 and this uh, second part uh, in this uh, bracket that is going to give us uh, 30 minus 6 times the uh, square root of 3 
So therefore we can write uh, the area of this uh, trapezoid as uh, 9 minus uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 times uh, 30 minus uh, 6 times uh, square root of 3 as well. And now we are going to multiply these uh, factors uh, by double uh, distribution. So therefore we are going to get uh, 270 minus uh, 54 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 90 times uh, square root of 3 and then uh, plus uh, 54. And if we combine the like terms, the area of uh, this uh, trapezoid turns out to be 324 minus uh, 144 times the uh, square root of 3 square uh, units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this uh, trapezoid turns out to be 324 minus 144 times square root of 3 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 74.6 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye